Welcome to Master Digital Color. This is Brian Miller. Today you will learn how to create a custom cloud brush. Let's start by going to the brush palette and modifying some of the settings. Set the spacing to 35%. And in the shape dynamics, let's adjust the size jitter and go for 100% today. And the fade, let's try 25. And the minimum diameter will also do 25. We'll leave the rest of these settings in the default position. Let's move on to the scattering. Set the scatter to 125%. And let's move the count up to about 12. That looks good. And we can set the count jitter all the way to 100. And let's look at the texture settings. If you have the default install for Photoshop, you'll have a cloud setting that you can choose. And let's move that scale up. I'm going to go really far out. Let's try like 500% today, somewhere around 500. And we'll set the mode to color burn. And let's uh, move that depth up to 100%. And the minimum depth you can also set to 100%. And we can leave the depth jitter set at zero. And one more setting under the other dynamics. Let's move that opacity jitter all the way to 100%. And the fade, I'm going to move up to 30. And we can leave the rest of the settings in their default position. And uh, if you want to save this as a new brush, you can hit the tab in the brush palette to create a new brush. You can name that cloud brush and click OK. Now let's see what we can do with this brush. Use the bracket keys to make the brush bigger or smaller and really get some natural cloud effects going very quickly. And because we're using screen mode, every time I lay the brush down, we're going to get a brighter and brighter highlight. So as a quick example, let's look at a piece that I finished earlier today. Here's a skyscape I created earlier today using the cloud brush and a soft air brush to blend everything together. In about 20 or 30 minutes time, you can create a beautiful sky scene that you can use in your comics and other projects as well. You've just learned how to create a custom cloud brush and make your own reusable Hi-Fi Helper sky scene.